Well, I took down the curtain uh, just behind here uh, so that when I work on the wax, you'll be able to see it. Um, I've got all the horse uh, bodies made, all seven. I know you can't probably see them. But these are all the front legs and these are all the back legs. And I'm trying to decide how I'm going to attach them. Um, I did wrap uh, electrician tape on this one, but I think I'm going to take that off and just have the thing held together by the wax. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, the main body of the uh, the thorax area of the horse first, and then I'll work on the hips, but uh, I can't do the hips till I get the uh, back legs uh, attached. I just got to figure out the best way to do that. I've been working, uh, well, all last night. I worked several hours last night making all the bodies and then starting the, the legs and uh, the front legs today. So I've been working well, for about four or five hours on all this. Uh, I got the wax under my swing arm lamp. Uh, it's been warming up. It's actually really in good shape right now. You gotta, when you're working with wax, you gotta watch how high you have the light. Uh, I use a 100 watt bulb, uh, and that keeps it nice and soft, but if you have it too close, it'll melt the clay, or the wax, and the clay for that matter. And uh, I just have to watch how close I have it to the light. What I'm doing is uh, I'm setting my calipers to the width of the rib cage. I scaled all these drawings down to the size of the horse I'm going to do so that it would make it easy. Wax is when it's too soft sticks to your hands and you gotta keep playing with it until it's uh, the right consistency or where it stops sticking to your hands. Wax uh, is a little different than clay. Not much, but first of all it's very dark so you can't see it. Second of all, it sticks to your hands like crazy and sticks to everything. Now, I, this is the first time I've done this, so I'm trying it out for the first time to see how it all works. You get this thing at the right temperature, the uh, wax, and it's a lot easier to uh, manipulate. But until it's uh, the right temperature, it's hard. I was listening to a song earlier, Besame, Besame Mucho, and I can't get the stupid tune out of my head. Besame, Besame Mucho. And that keeps going up through my head. Okay.
Now to make this easier for me to work with, I'm going to stick a fondue stick into the horse, uh, horse's belly, and uh, it makes it easier for me to handle it. I'm just going to shape the thorax area. I know this is going to be hard for you to see, but I can, and that's what counts. <laughs> Now I'm just doing the next to the last horse right here, and uh, it's taken me a few hours to do this, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. When the wax uh, gets stiff, uh, the uh, front legs uh, seem a little bit. Stiff. I can do things with it, uh, just as if I had put tape on it to uh, bind it to the uh, armature. Putting this wax uh, head on the uh, horses uh, where the head would go helps a lot. I've got uh, six done and i got one more to do. Tomorrow I'll work on the uh, rear hips. I may have to make more horses because when I put it on the armature, it's really small. <laughs> so I may have to do some more armatures. But at least I got a good start on this piece. After the uh, first two or three, you start getting into a rhythm as far as uh, creating the armature and the uh, wax. You get the feel in your hand when you got enough wax in it for the uh, thorax or rib cage of the horse.
fondue stick. These might be in the way, but I figure what the heck. I'll try it out. All right. There we go. Well, that's it from my studio, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.